I've tried to cover, or have covered, I think, kind of his life and his works, and I'll come on to his legacy and his metalwork, but we said this was only six or seven years of Knox's life. There's an aspect of, the, uh, of Knox and this presentation cannot, cannot cover and I can't convey, and that is the Isle of Man aspect, the Manx heritage aspect of Knox. And I got a sense of this when I was there, but I think probably I've um, got to be more, there more than once, maybe a generation or two as well. Because Knox was a Manxman, he did art of the island, his, uh, the silver was somewhere else, it was Liberty. That's not really of the island, but it captures the flavour. So it's really his art and these drawings. And this is his, something of his life's work is represented here. He, he illustrated over a number of years uh, something called the, Nox, the, the De Deer's Cry, which is a Gaelic poem about the, um, I'll just say, it, I won't do it justice, the birth of Christianity in Ireland around the third century, I think. Um, and uh, this is, again, this kind of crazy, amazing ability he had to do illuminated drawings. And he did pages and pages of this to illustrate um, uh, illustrate uh, this important poem. And, and it has, I say, I can't capture the flavour, but within the Isle of Man, there's another level of Knox, which this presentation won't capture, which is that, that spirit of Knox and the soul of, of the island. So let me just talk about his legacy in, in conclusion. We would think let Knox is still to be fully appreciated. I think if we thought he was fully appreciated, we wouldn't have done this lecture or the exhibition. We think he's still to, to really be fully appreciated. Um, his values are perhaps now almost alongside Charles Rennie Mashintosh, Joseph Hoffman, Hoffman, Frank Lloyd Wright. Perhaps because they were architects, perhaps also because they were famous in their time, they definitely still have a higher status than Knox. And, may, and maybe in some cases they do deserve, deserve that in terms of their, le their own legacies. Uh, but we, we would expect to see Knox elevated, or continue to be elevated to this sort of level. And I think in the Isle of Man where uh, Knox is ubiquitous and the love of Knox I think is pretty ubiquitous, uh, there's still not quite the sense uh, that he's been embraced, and it's very poignant to say this now, of course, in the way that Glasgow has embraced Macintosh and made him their own. And so, um, on that note, and I've taken this from a speech that Liam O'Neill gave at uh, the cathedral to celebrate the birth of Knox, anyone from the Isle of Man will know this immediately, there's this remarkable surviving quote, um, and it is written, I should stress, in 1916. It's not written by me, which it could have been for this, uh, for this, for this talk. And this is from one of uh, Knox's um, acolytes, Winifred Tucker, who's helped set up the guild when he, when he left. And you can see what she wrote. So as T. Brown, who's a famous Manx poet, has given the poetry of your people, so has Mr. Knox given in watercolour the poetry of your sky, shores, and buildings, painted your boats, trees, and bridges, flecked with sunlight and shade as no other man has painted them. If you build a gallery for his work in the centre of your aisle, future generations would bless your name. Amazing to think that was written in 1916. So when we think today we've uncovered Knox um, and we've discovered him, actually, again, in a small microcosm, for those that knew him then, they felt this overwhelming sense of his significance, importance and brilliance. And um, certainly we would love a museum dedicated to Knox in the Isle of Man, well, certainly a, a major gallery. Um, and really that, uh, that is it. It's left me to say on the left there is a wonderful picture of Knox that captures him. It doesn't blow up well, so we haven't used it much. But he's doffing his hat. It's a, it's a rare photo, I think, of the period because it's, it's clearly taken casually, uh, not formally. And I think you just get a sense of this charming, helpful man uh, who, who, um, who probably you know, loved the island. And of course, uh, that's his gravestone with its, with its magnificent design and quote. Thank you very much.